Why you have to read? Proverbs chapter 23, verse 23. Also, Proverbs wisdom 23 and verse instruction 23. And understanding. And instruction and understanding. by the truth and sell it not by wisdom and sell it not by understanding instruction and sell them not the caption for this morning meditation is by wisdom for the last two messages i am speaking to the church on the blessings of wisdom on the first morning we had five points from proverbs chapter 8 what are the blessings we get because we have wisdom but how to get this wisdom So we have meditated on so many points and there are many more points in the Bible. This list is not complete, it's only comprehensive. But how shall we have this wisdom? So I love to remind you the spiritual definition or the philosophical definition of wisdom. Wisdom there will be a noble goal a very noble goal to achieve or to realize that noble goal taking the right way least effort the least effort simple method a noble goal to achieve that noble goal you take the right way you go by the right way invest the least effort and do it in the simple method then you are a wise person and in all those messages i told you the story of alexander the great alexander the great was to go all over the world to fight many battles kill many people many soldiers in his side also were killed a lot of blood was shed people were mutilated they lost their arms they lost their legs they lost their eyes many were made widows many were made orphans Alexander was able to have many victories then he got happiness whereas a guruji the guru of Alexander's guru he was able to find that happiness just by feeding a dog with some bread lo- uh, bread loaves so what was the aim both wanted to arrive at happiness happiness to achieve that happiness alexander was to go around all the, go around all over the world fight many battles kill many people then he got that happiness his way is not right effort was much the method was not simple so he may be a warrior but he was not a wise man the world never calls alexander a wise man but we call this guruji a very wise man he achieved his goal happiness in a right way feeding a dog least the effort just he has to break a bread a loaf of bread i mean a slice of bread and just throw it the effort was least the method was also simple this is not a very complicated method 
So we call him wise person. Probably both were able to get happiness, but the world cannot recognize Alexander as a wise person because his way, his effort, his method were not proving that Alexander was wise. Probably today we can say he was foolish. He was foolish. Whereas that Guruji was wise. So that is the wisdom, a noble goal, the right way, the least effort, the simple method. And our highest goal, somehow we should reach heaven. There may be short-term goals, noble goals. I must come first in the class. I must have a good name. I must be successful in my business, a good business, not a fraud, not a cheating, not an illegal transaction. That's not wise. That's foolishness. I must do it in the right way and I must be successful. I must be able to feed my people. I must be able to give them good dress, good food, good education. I must provide for my family. A wise man. So you may have many short-term goals. And the long-term goal, we must reach heaven. We must reach heaven. When we will be able to achieve our goal, achieve what we aspire, in the right way, with the least effort, in a simple method, then we would become wise person. So this morning I'm going to share with you seven points how to have this wisdom. How to have this wisdom. I've got a, a lot of verses to share with you. You can make a note of these verses that will help you to revise. Number one, the first and the foremost Proverbs 1.7 The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge or wisdom. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. In Proverbs 18, verse 33 the fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom and before honor is humility. Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. So the first and the foremost point is the fear, a reverential fear of the Lord. If somebody can have the fear of the Lord, he will have the right way. He will not make things complicated. The Lord sees me. I don't want to hurt the Lord. I don't want to do anything that would displease God. He said, He has saved me. He had made me righteous by His blood. I don't want to do anything that would displease Him. So in my conversation, in my dealings, in my chattings, when I post something in the social media, it's not what my friends see. 
is not what my classmates see, is not what the, what others see, but what God would say about it. Will God like it? Will God appreciate it? Well then, my daughter, you have put this. Well then, my daughter, I appreciate you. You've done a good thing. Will God appreciate you? I was a sinimanga. The Lord wonderfully saved me through a dream. I didn't have this type of a church fellowship and all. But I thank God for the knowledge. I thank God for the wisdom he has given me. Few days since I got saved, I got saved through a dream. You know that very well. Not in a meeting or in a Pentecostalic background. Not even the born again background. So I, immediately I didn't want to go to movies. So one of my friends asked me, is it wrong to see a movie? Is it given in the Bible not to see a movie? Probably immediately I didn't have an answer. I didn't know the Bible at that time. I didn't know whether it's a Pentecostal teaching that we should see movie or we should not see movie. But I remember I was 21 years old. I remember the answer I gave to my friend. I said, I don't know whether it is right or wrong, but I know very well Jesus is in me. I cannot imagine Jesus will go with me to the theatre and Jesus will enjoy that movie. So when I see the movie, Jesus may leave me. Jesus may leave me. I don't want Jesus to leave me. I can't keep Jesus outside the theatre, go and see the movie, then come and take Jesus into my heart again. For me, Jesus in me was real. For me, Jesus in me was real. So I said, I cannot keep Jesus in me and see that movie. If Jesus in you is real, will you put that posting? Will you chat like that with a boy or a girl? It's all a hypocrisy. For you, Christi, for you to say that you are a Christian is only a deception. It's only an acting. Christ is not really in you. If Christ is really in you, you cannot do many things. What you are doing today? In a few minutes time, we are going to participate in the Lord's Supper. Can you say that you are holy to touch the body of Jesus Christ that was broken for, the, broken for you on the cross? Many a time, we are emboldened that when we touch the bread, immediately our hand is not cut. We are emboldened. When you drink of that cup, immediately we are not dead. We are mistaking the mercy of God. You write whatever you want to write. You key in what all you want to key in, in the, uh, your phone. All nonsense, all rubbish. You're going to touch the body of Jesus Christ that's broken for you. I got the guts for it. I got the guts for it. You are responsible to answer this question. Are you worthy to touch this body of Jesus Christ that is broken for your sins? That is broken for your sins. But the Bible says clearly, if we participate in the Lord's Supper in an unworthy way, eternal condemnation is waiting for you. In this morning, you are going to participate in the Lord's Supper. I am not going to stop anybody. You are going to participate in the Lord's Supper. You'll be eating of the bread, you'll eat, drink of this cup. 
in remembrance of the body that is broken for you, in remembrance of Jesus' blood that is shed for you. And you will be participating in the Lord's Supper either for your blessing or for your condemnation. You will be participating. Either it will be for your blessing or it is for your condemnation. If you participate in an unworthy way, you will be condemned. Be wise. Can your touch, can your fingers touch this bread? What are the dirty things you touched? All through the past month? In your personal life? In your private life? What are the things you touched? Are you going to touch this bread? This is not just a chapati. You are participating in this remembrance of the body of Christ that is broken for you. The bread we pray is a holy bread. The cup we pray it's a holy cup. Be wise. You will be participating either for your blessing or for your condemnation. If the Lord could punish you immediately, it's because of his love. A father chastises the child he loves. Uh, but he has already, if it is written off, he may not punish you immediately because a hellfire is waiting for you. Because of it, eternal condemnation is waiting for immediately he may not. If immediately he doesn't hit you, punish you, don't think that he is being don't think that he wings at your sin. Don't think that he wings at your dirty life. Don't think that he wings at your dirty relationships. Dirty photos, dirty chattings. No, he is not winking at it. If he loves you, he will chastise you. He has already returned you off for his condemnation. Probably he may not chastise you. He has already, you, you are returned for his condemnation. The Lord is full of grace and full of truth. He is full of grace. He is full of truth. His grace saves you. His truth cannot see any partiality. Cannot see any partiality. Whether it's the pastor or any efficient Or an ordinary gentle believer comes and goes, participates in no ministry, very gentle. Condemnation is the same, blessings are the same. So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A reverential fear. He died for me, his body was broken for me. He shed his precious blood that my sins can be cleansed. I use my fingers for everything that is unclean. Dirty in the sight of God. I'm going to touch this bread. The Old Testament. There's a drink of jealousy. You drink the cup of the drink of jealousy. If there is no sin in you, it will not affect you. If there is sin in you, you will be condemned. When you drink that with sin, your stomach will bloat. It will burst, etc., etc. Not to scare you. So the beginning of wisdom, the step number of wisdom, if you want to be a wise person, have the fear of the Lord. 
When you lie, your mommy, your mom doesn't know, your dad doesn't know, pastor doesn't know, you can easily lie. God knows. When you have that fear, you'll become automatically a wise person. You want to see a dirty pornographic film. A dirty film. Nobody sees, mom doesn't see, a pastor doesn't see, no other believer sees it. You enjoy it with all lust. You are seeing that dirty film. God sees you. You cannot escape from his eyes. You cannot escape from his eyes. Even in ordinary earthly sense, Today they can hack your phone, through your phone camera they can see what you are doing. If that is humanly possible, if somebody can hack your phone and through your camera see what you are doing, if it is possible going through your processor to find out what all the movies you have seen, what all the chattings you have done, if we can track your voice, you can track our vi your videos, if it is humanly possible. Do you think it is impossible for God to see what you are seeing? It is a simple science. Many years ago, that's the time the GPS was introduced. At that time I had an application, GPS. Maybe ten years back it could be. We were going to Bangalore and I put the GPS and I was able to see where I was, what the speed the vehicle was going in, how many minutes it would take to reach that place, etc., etc. When I saw that in the GPS for the first time, I really praised God. This ordinary application, this satellite application can see where I am can see what's the speed in which I am going through, can say how many minutes it will take to reach my destination. My dear brother, my dear sister, please imagine for a minute, can you imagine that God doesn't know where you are going, God doesn't know what you are doing. I call this a very simple truth. If you have the knowledge that God knows, you are wise, you are wise. I use social media, but I know what that I post. If I post something, that's for the glory of God. I know some of the believers, they put videos, they put some uh, text message, very useful, great blessing, knowledge. But I heard about some brothers, some sisters, some boys and girls. They enjoy posting dirty things. Many times we cannot help. Many a time we cannot help. There is, we cannot change what a deer will eat and what a pig will eat. It is their nature what a deer will eat and a, what a pig will eat. Similarly, there are some sisters, some brothers, some children, they are interested in something holy. It is their nature, spiritual nature. There are some brothers, some sisters, some children, they are only interested in dirty things. It is their nature. If there can be difference between deer and pig, there can be difference between these people. But if you want to be holy, if you want to be wise, the fear of the Lord alone can be, can make you wise. That's the first step. There is a very big passage I want to read to you. You can just make a note of it. Job chapter 28 from verse 12. Job chapter 28 from verse 12, a long passage. But where shall wisdom be found? 
and where is the place of understanding? Man knoweth not the place thereof. Man doesn't know where we can find wisdom. Neither is it found in the land of the living. The depth saith, it is not in me. And the sea saith, it is not with me. It cannot be gotten for gold, neither shall silver be weighed for the place thereof. You can't buy wisdom with silver and gold. It cannot be valued with the gold of Ophir, with the precious onyx or the sapphire. The gold and the crystal cannot equal it, cannot equal wisdom. And the exchange of it shall not be for jewels of the gold. By the jewels of the gold you cannot have wisdom. No mention shall be made of coral or of pearls. Price of wisdom is above the rubies. You must buy wisdom. How can you buy wisdom? With silver, with gold, with onyx stones, pearls, no have prizes above all these things. The topaz of Ethiopia shall not equal it. Neither shall it be valued with pure gold. Whence? Whence means from when? Whence then cometh wisdom? Then how the wisdom comes? And where is the place of understanding? Seeing it is hid from my eyes of all living, from the eyes of all living, and kept close from the bowels of the air, the folds of the air. Destruction and death say, we have heard the fame thereof with our ears. Death and destruction. They say we have heard what is wisdom. We have heard only the death, only the destruction. God understandeth the way thereof, and he knoweth the place thereof. For he looketh to the ends of the earth, and seeth under the whole heaven. Under the whole heaven, with whom you are going in a bike, with whom you are going in an auto, with whom you are going in a car, with whom you are travelling in a train, to whom you phone, with whom you are talking, what you are talking. If the, pro the cell provider, if they can record your talking, are we foolish to know that God doesn't record our talking? We can get all, what all you have talked from the cell provider, your connection provider. How you rub, are we rubbish? Are we nonsense that we don't know that whether God records what you are talking or not? It's very clear, for he knoweth to the ends of the earth and seeth under the whole heaven to make the weight for the uh, winds and he weigheth the waters by measure. When he made a degree for the rain and a way for the lightning of the thunder, then did he see it and declare it? He prepared it. Yeah. Search it out. And unto man he said, Behold, look, the fear of the Lord, the fear of the Lord, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. Where can I find wisdom? How to buy wisdom? Exchange it with the fear of the Lord. You can buy wisdom if you have the fear of the Lord and to depart from evil is understanding. If you understood this, depart from evil. Depart from evil. That is wisdom. 
So number one, first and foremost, fear of the Lord. He became a wise person. And then all the blessings of wisdom. First day we had five points, then we had ten points, fifteen points. All the points, all those wis- uh, uh, blessings of wisdom. Number, number two. two. Not only the fear of the Lord, we read in Proverbs chapter 2 verse 6. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. For the Lord giveth wisdom. We read in the Old Testament in many places. God gave wisdom to Bezalel. God gave wisdom to Aholibah. God gave wisdom to Solomon. Ask and it shall be given. In James chapter 1 verse 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally and upbraideth not and it shall be given him. So ask the Lord, Lord give me wisdom. First fear the Lord. You can find wisdom only through fearing the Lord. That's only the beginning. To grow in wisdom. Ask God for more wisdom. Wisdom from above. In uh, James 3.17 we got the list. Wisdom from above. What are the things? It's pure. It's peace. Etc. Etc. Wisdom from above. Lord give me that wisdom. I must know how to have peace. I must know how that I should be able to live with others. I must be able to deal with no partiality, no deception. Give me wisdom, a wisdom from above. I go quickly to number three. It is not only fearing the Lord, it is not only asking the Lord. The third thing is very important. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 20. Proverbs 13 20. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise. But a companion of fools shall be destroyed. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise. The third important thing is very, very important. Not only for children, for the grown-ups. For the grown-ups. There is a saying, tell me who your friends are, I tell you who you are. One of your friends, your friends, your friends, your Ungalode nanbergal nanbigal, unga partners, friends, every part of ungan sallenge, niinga yar na sallya. Hello, brothers, sisters, boys, girls, who all have your Facebook friends, Facebook, Instagrams, what are the other nonsense? What are the WhatsApp group you are in? Very wise group? Spiritual? Hello? Who all are in your Facebook group list? Friends list? Tell me who all are your friends, I tell you who you are. I got an account in Facebook. You can see the list of people in my Facebook, my friends. You can say that who I am. Who I am. You can see my Facebook postings. You can see who I am. If somebody could see your Facebook postings, they can see who you are. Hello, that's simple. That's very simple. Are you wise? Who are your companions? 
who are they our friends what are the noble topics you discuss what are the noble topics you read what are the noble topics you post are you wise or are you a base person it shows whether you are with virtues or you are with vices it's very simple here it says he that walketh with wise men shall be wise but a companion of fools shall be destroyed he'll be destroyed as our j smith says you need not give up any friends you give jesus to them either they'll be converted or they will give you up the day that i got saved i read that i started giving jesus to everybody i started giving jesus to everybody either they got converted as slowly they gave me up my dear brother my dear sister in psalm 119 verse 63 it was a bold confession of the psalmist Psalm 119 verse 63 I am a companion of all them that fear thee I am a companion a partner a friend I am a companion of all them that fear me and of them that keep thy precepts thy laws thy statutes how many of you can boldly put your left hand on your chest slip your right hand towards heaven i don't want you to do it how many of you can do it put your left hand on your chest right hand up to heaven looking into god and say lord i am only a companion of them that fear thee andavare umakku bayapudural maathram tha yen friends yen partners yen companions in uh, order oh, what not tell me ma sangeetha karan solrane yen companions yaar pa andra pa solran is not a man i am a companion of them that fear you i can tell you boldly i can tell you boldly I may love everybody but I don't have fellowship with everybody about Jesus we read in the bible he moved away from sinners he loved sinners but he never had fellowship with sinners he was not a partner with sinners he was not enjoying their life he was not enjoying their joke he loved a woman caught in ad- in adultery but he was not for adultery hello can you say that i am only companion of them that f- then you will be a wise person then you will be a wise person to have wisdom to buy wisdom must pay the price to buy wisdom we must have the fear of the fear of god to buy wisdom we must pray for wisdom to buy wisdom you must be very choosy about your friends your companions even in a worldly sense they say even a loving mother will tell her daughter nee avaloda pesada ivaloda pes nee ivaloda kuda po avu kuda pogada nee avu kuda ponna kattu podu a loving mother would say that a loving father would say dey avanod romba sutta da da avanod romba sutta da avan career kattukodu it's love i speak candidly because i love you 
I love you, I love the word of God. I love the word of God. It's my sincere desire that participating in this Lord's Supper should be a blessing to every one of us. But Lord, if they participate unworthily, fulfill your word. Fulfill your word. The condemnation must come. That is the word of God. That is the word of God. I love that should take place. Jesus said, don't think that I come to give you peace. I come to put fire. I bring a sword. Even this service, I want that fire to be here. I want that fire to be here. My dear brother, my dear sister, the wisdom is depending upon your friends, your companions. Let me go to the fourth one. I'll have to read one verse to you before that. Malachi chapter 3 verse 60. Malachi chapter 3 verse 60. Then they that fear the Lord spake often one to another. They that fear the Lord. And the Lord hearkened and heard it. And the book of remembrance was written before him for them that fear the Lord. And that upon his knee. And that thought upon his knee. You be that fear the Lord, you, you talk one to another. God remembers what you are talking. Then when you are talking with those who don't fear the Lord, doesn't mean that God doesn't see that. God remembers one for your blessing. God remembers another for curse. We have to be careful. Number four. Proverbs chapter 1. I read from verse 2 to 6. Proverbs chapter 1. From verse 2 to 6. To know. The word to know little means to learn, to acquire mostly by observation. To acquire mostly by observation. To know wisdom. To acquire wisdom by observation. To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice and judgment and equity, to give subtlety to the simple, to, to the young man knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and will, and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto uh, and wise counsels to understand the proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. How do we have wisdom? When we understand the words of the wise and their dark sayings, these proverbs, the Bible teachings, teachings in the church, the instruction of the father, the instruction of the mother, the instruction of the teacher, mostly, mostly, almost 100%, the instruction of the pastor, the instruction of your father, mother, your parents, the instruction of the teachers are only for your wisdom. Why pastor says like this? If you interpret correctly, why pastor says like this? You will become wise person. 
if you interpret correctly why my mother says like this why my father says like this why my teacher says like this if you can interpret correctly you will become wise i say we are not infallible i i don't say we will not make mistakes but all the teachings mostly mostly almost 100% a pastor a good pastor a pastor who lives for the sheep not for their money not for their favor but only to do god's ministry for their blessing whatever that pastor says he speaks from the word of god or he speaks by led by the spirit it is for your goodness interpret that wise say why he says keep the lord's day why he says pay the tithe why he say there is no premarital relationship why he says how you must choose your friends why the pastor says all these things is it hurt you why it's for your blessing your mother says don't have that type of chattings don't have that friendship don't talk with that person don't stand here why don't dress like this why this is not for your blessing your teacher says finish the homework study this lesson behave like this have your shoes polished have your id card worn what are the teachers may say you interpret their sayings properly then you will become wise more than these three pastors your parents your teachers in the bible dark sayings try to understand dark say thirittu thanne thittikum the bible says thirittu thanne thittikum try to understand the dark saying the secret relationship the secret benefits the secret friendship will be very sweet that will swallow you up at the end mudi vela thone vilingi திருட்டுத்தனமாக சரி ரொம்ப நல்லா இருக்கும் திருட்டுத்தனமாக உட்காந்து அந்த வீடியோ பார்க்குறது ரொம்ப நல்லா இருக்கும் திருட்டுத்தனமாக மீட் பண்ணி பேசுறது ரொம்ப நல்லா இருக்கும் திருட்டு தண்ணீர் தித்திக்கும் ஆமாம் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த டாக் சை வாட் இஸ் த பைபிள் மீன் பை தேட் ஸோ வென் யூ கேன் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த instructions and the dark saying of the wise people are people those are concerned of you you will become a wise person ah what pastor knows may pan kana theriyum avaru idu utta vera topic e theriyadu ella church la enna nalla alla pesra nee america ku pove nee moon ku pove idala kekka evlo nalla irukku my dear brother my dear sister if you interpret these sayings in a wrong way you will be destroyed ah mummy you don't know anything daddy you don't know daddy mummy shut up mummy you are cursed you are cursed the bible says one who tells the daddy he doesn't know one who tells the mummy she doesn't know the person is a cursed person 
The ravens of the river will pluck their eyes. Understand what does it mean? The ravens of the river will pluck your eyes. Nadiyan kaakangal or kangalai pudingi thinno. Understand what does it mean? What does it mean? What are the nadiyan kaakangal? Yepudi kanna pudungu yepo niyo petrol ke kill padiyalanna. If you cannot obey your parents, the ravens of the river will pluck your eyes and eat it. So when you understand these dark sayings, the proverbs, the instructions in the Bible, the teachings of pastors, teachings of parents, teachings of your teachers, when you correctly interpret these sayings, you would become a wise person. You would become a wise person. You can make note of this, Proverbs 8.33. Proverbs 8.33, hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Proverbs 23.19, hear thou my son and be wise and guide thine heart in the way. Now when you are listening to this instruction, guide your heart in this way. Here's what pastor says is right. I must be very careful about my companions. I must be very careful about what I post. I am a child of God. I am not a child of a devil. I am not a dirty pig. I am a holy person. I must know what I should eat. I must know what I should be fed on. I must know. I am a holy person. What can feed my eyes? It's a very simple truth. It's a very simple truth. So here it says, guide thine heart in the way. Guide your heart in the way. Let me go quickly to number five. By hearkening to wise counsel. Not only they are wise saying, when they give a personal counsel, Proverbs chapter 12 verse 15, Proverbs 13 verse 10, Proverbs 19, 20, hear counsel and receive instruction that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. So it's one thing to understand or to interpret their sayings. Then when they give you counsel, all of a God is great in counsel. His name shall be called the counselor. People perish because they don't want counsel. Many times when you have got a problem, you can take counsel from your father, you can take counsel from your mother. Suppose they are unable to give counsel or they are unable to share a problem with pastor. You must have a pastor, pastor auntie, a sister, a religious person, a spiritual person who can counsel you. Don't go and share with everybody. Many a time the remedy will be worse than the melody. And you must know with whom you can counsel. You must, you must go to a person who has got the grace to counsel. Everybody cannot give counsel. It is a gift. It is a grace. So listen to the counsel of the people. And number six. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 15. The rod and reproof give wisdom. The rod and reproof give wisdom. And a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. A child left to himself. A child left to herself bringeth shame to the family, bringeth shame to the church, bringeth shame to the ministry. I very tell you honestly, I learnt a prayer from our pastor Sundaramaya. Very occasionally, when heart is very burdened, when I didn't know what I could pray, when I don't know what I could pray, 
ஐ ப்ரே திஸ் ப்ரே லாட் அவனை திருத்தம் ஆண்டு திருத்தம் ஆண்டு இல்லைன்னா துரத்தும் எனக்கு இதுக்கு மேலே வேதனை பட முடியாது ஒன்று திருத்தும் இல்லைன்னா துரத்தும் பிகாஸ் அ சைல்ட் லெஃப்ட் இட்ஸ் ஓன் பிரிங் ஷேம்ஸ் டு த சர்ச் இட் பிகம்ஸ் அ பேட் எலிமெண்ட் டு ஸ்பாயில் அதர்ஸ் கண்டேஜியஸ் கண்டேஜியஸ் Where everybody knows. They come and tell me, this is what that girl has put in the Facebook. This is mine. Or this film song. This dialogue. This is what that sister has done. This is what that mother has done. Because now it's open. When it goes to social media, it's open. This is what that girl has written to the boy. This is what the boy has written to the girl. Now either they should change or the Lord should chase them. So this is what the prayer Pastor Undaran used to pray. In certain occasions, I talk to them personally, that's counsel. We preach to them. yet they are left on their own any child that is left on its own any believer they don't discipline themselves they don't come within the framework they bring shame to that family they bring shame to that mother they bring shame to the father they bring shame to the church they bring shame to the government anybody left alone That's what the Bible says, understand the dark sayings. Is this not true? If a child cannot be brought to the discipline, the teachings of the church, and that child will bring shame. If at all our motive is only to get more money, we don't want anybody to leave. but the calling with which god has called us to make a people ready for the lord kattirukende uthavamana oru kootathai aayatha paduthu padik so we cannot keep the money in the forefront we need money but we are not doing this ministry for money whether you give 5000 or 10000 or 1 lakh or 10 lakh it will be despised at when your actions can bring shame to this church so what could be our desire lord change them or chase them i have seen the lord has chased out some people change them that's our cry the lord has decided not to change them at least chase them away because the bible says very clearly the rod and reproof give wisdom but a child or any person left to himself or herself bring it his mother or father or for the family to shame proverbs 15:32 he that refuseth instruction despiseth his own soul but he that heareth reproof getteth understanding or getteth wisdom in him glory be to the lord's holy name those who love discipline i just i'm running out of time but i tell you one thing many instructions what my pa- many reproof what my pastor has said that has shaped me what my father has said that has shaped me what my mother has said that has shaped me i tell you one instruction or oh, one in uh, instant at the time i was working in sishya very reputed school uh maybe i was at that time 23 24 or something on evening bible study i was coming i was a translator at the time i was a translator tell you i just a young man 
a church was upstairs. That day, Pastor Samson was taking the Bible study, Pastor Sundaramaya was sitting downstairs. I always have the habit of wearing a cuffling more than the button. So in those days, I always wear cuffling, I never use a button. But as a math teachers, we will be using the blackboard the most. So when I use the blackboard, at times the cuffling would be a little disturbance. So I remove the cuffling, I make one or two folds. And that day, and some other days also, I just forget. So I just had my shirt just folded, my full sleeve folded. Just two folding. Mukakai. I was rushing for the Bible study. Pastor Sundaram was sitting downstairs. He was talking with a few girls. I was just rushing upstairs. He just called like this. And the Sotakapaturi Kupta. Kiravanda. I tell you for the glory of the Lord. My age would permit me to tell you. At that time I was 24 something, it was before a marriage. Kilavande. Then the idea is that the force is that the idea is that the idea He told me, One inga podo, ilana inga vettu. One inga podo, ilana inga vettu. I'm sure those girls must have giggled at that. I was one of the good tight payers on that day. I am in the forefront of the ministry. I am Pastor Sundaram's translator. I was working in one of the reputed schools in India. Just to have this mukakai. My pastor hit me literally. In a very angry tone he said, Only inga podum illa nanga vettum. Probably maybe in the year 1976 or 77 beginning. 76 must be. 42 years have passed by. Maybe I don't get anywhere with this mukake. The discipline I learned in that church. Many were wearing that mukakai. Many were wearing that mukakai. Why didn't he tell them all? Two brothers who stand in the front and lead the songs, always they have mukakai. He has never told them. Why did he tell me? I am special. I am special. I learnt it. Again, give a number of illustrations what all I learnt from my past. This reproof brings wisdom to us. If you don't want reproof, you don't want wisdom. And number seven, with this I conclude. Proverbs 6. Go to the end. Thou sluggard, consider her ways and be wise. So it's not only to the ant, through the nature, not only through the scriptures, not only through the dark sayings of the scriptures, not only through the counsel, not only through the uh, uh, reproofs or discipline, the rod of discipline, through nature, through everything that you see around you, even when you see an ant, you can learn by learning. Learning from scriptures, learning from nature. Learning from the counsel, learning from reproof, and also learning from any ordinary instance. You can learn, you can acquire wisdom as long as you have got the habit of learning. Proverbs chapter 8, from verse 2 to 9. She standard, that is wisdom standard, 
in the top of high places, by the way, in the places of the paths. She cried at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in, at the doors. Unto you, O man, I call, wisdom says, and my voice is to the sons of men. Woe is simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be of understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are righteousness. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. They are plain to him that understandeth, and right to them that find knowledge. On the street. You just go walk on the street. When you see a, a funeral procession, you can learn. When you pass by a toss mark, you can learn. When there is a quarrel, you can learn. When somebody going to the church, you can learn. From an ant, you can learn. From everything around us, we can learn wisdom. The simple will have knowledge. One who can be easily seduced. When you start learning from your surroundings, as he said, just observe even an ant, you can learn wisdom. And just to read a passage here and conclude, Proverbs chapter 9, from verse 1 to 6. With I'm concluding, wisdom had builded her house and had hewn out her seven pillars. She had killed her bees, she had mingled her wine, she had also furnished her table, that is, she has prepared a dinner, a banquet. Wisdom has prepared a banquet for us. She had sent forth her maidens. She cried upon the highest places of the city. Whoso is simple, one who can be easily seduced, one who can easily go in the wrong way. The simple here means one who can easily go in the wrong way. One who cannot make the right decision. One who doesn't have a discretion. One who doesn't know what is right, what is wrong. When you see somebody in the toss mark, when you see somebody before the theater, when you see all these people, you know that they don't know what is right or wrong. They are very simple, easily seducible. Whoso can be seducible, let him turn in hither. Let him come for this banquet. Let him come for this banquet. As for him that wanted understanding, she saith to him, wisdom saith to him, come, Eat of my bread, eat of wisdom, eat of my bread, I have mingled, mingled with wine. Her bread mingled with joy, mingled with pleasantness, all her ways are pleasant. In her path there is peace, it is mingled with wine. Not the wine that can be that can be intoxicated. It's the wine that can give us joy. It's the wine that can give us pleasure. Forsake the foolish. Forsake the foolish and live. If you can forsake your foolish things, foolish relationship. And go in the way of understanding. Shall we close our eyes?